Who's babbling? Is that Wait. fucking stupid Eric? What is Eric babbling about and in the his background? Fucking, yeah, his, his stupid, his neck warmer that he carries around that's <laughs> attached to him. <laughs> Like during commercials when he wanted to talk to him, Jimmy just goes, send that incompetent in here. <laughs> and everyone knew who to get. Of course they did. They walked of course in they completely did. Completely clueless. Had no idea we were talking about him. He has a neck. He looks like fucking, uh, he kind of looks like the old Mr. Freeze. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> from the original? Yeah, have, <laughs> yeah. From the fucking, from the Batman and giant cock a pair of underwear series <laughs> <laughs> fucking Bert, Bert Ward and that fucking delicious gift he called a fucking baby maker yeah, I'm just babbling where's E-Rock I thought he would come in for a beating why were you late today how late was he pretty late I got in uh, just about 530 ah uh, mm. why why this late time? night last night Cleaning up and everything. oh, it's good to know you can make your own hours. Cleaning up what? Cleaning up. We were all cleaning up. Fucking, I yeah. had a Super Bowl party. I would have loved to come in at five thirty today. What were you cleaning up? Our place. We had a lot of people over. What about so you shit did. on the fucking couch? <laughs> so you decided. You you decided you're so great for the show. I'll just show up at five thirty. What time is he supposed to be here? <laughs> five. The latest. Which never happens, by the way. Is he late a lot? Are you late That's a lot? Not true. I'm here around five of you a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Than just threw his pen. Oh, good for He's him. not going to accept that oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, good. Man. When you're going at 11.30, you can uh, wonder why I'm still here till one or two. Ooh. You fucking waste your time, Eric. I'm so fucking sick of this. I am such a good worker at facade. Every, really? Nobody fucking buys it, all right? Everyone knows you're on fuck. You listen to Ron and Fez. You're on fucking Pal Talk. You're I aming shit. Uh -huh. Really? Go through that book and tell me what's in there. Where are all well, the nobody archives? Nobody the fuck knows. That's the best part. Because you, you don't sit around and you look at anything. You don't know what's in that book. Hey, Eric, where's that fucking thing from the archive? Oh, Do okay. I'm in charge minutes? of the XM yeah. studio, but hey, Eric, where's this piece of order? Where's that disco pad in front of him? Oh, it's right there in the bin. Maybe yeah, if you I looked know. in there. Yeah. Why should... That doesn't make any fucking sense. You want to run this shit over here? Look at it. I don't need a catalog, but you've already fucking awfully catalogued You don't even know again. it's there, though. So don't give me shit that I'm here way after all you guys putting all this shit together, and you don't even look at it. Okay, well, let's say the XM is my responsibility. Then you fuck the CBS show all the time with the amount of time it takes you. If this is such fucking masterfully, geniusly uh, organized, why is it... Where... How come Sam has had to burn the fucking bottom bling spot three different times? I don't know. Maybe it got thrown out after the second time we used it because nobody thought it was going to be used again. But everything else that's really important is there. It was a fucking bit. Like, why why throw it out while it's still topical? It wasn't topical up okay, until now. what about the second time then? How it was there. How come you burn it the second time? We had it. Why do you have to burn it again? We didn't have it after the second time. There's a lot of shit that gets thrown out. Why can't you be say. here? And why? Okay, fine. You get. I leave here earlier than you. I also get here every day earlier yes, than you. Yes, you do. And you also live a block from here. That's not a fucking excuse. You know what I do? I pay rent, and they give me that apartment. That's the deal I have worked out. Okay. So it's only fair. I pay probably more rent because I live in Manhattan, and I live close to the fucking studio. So, okay. So but I don't do like, your job, I'm and you don't to... do my job. What? I don't do your job. You don't do my and job. And you don't do your job. Right. So it's perfect. Okay. Let's say you do half the shit that I do on a daily basis. I, I, I will gladly do My job do doesn't it. end after I leave here. I'm still doing shit at home, too. Do you know half the shit that I do? No, you don't. Yeah, well... No, you come in and you see me sitting there. Oh, he's in the studio. I'm sitting here looking up news stories and everything, so Eric's not Shouldn't contributing. Shouldn't I know what you do? Shouldn't it be material for the show? Shouldn't it not be a mystery? What do you think all this shit is? It's all for the show! Fucking sick of you! And all this, this fucking perception that I don't do shit around here. I don't think you use your time well. Good, I don't give a shit about your time either. You leave at 11, 30, yes, 12. Yes, because I use my time well. No, you're done as soon as the show's done. I'm not. I... So, because I don't have to come in early like you do to do half the shit that you do because it's not my job. Yeah. Okay? So, because I'm not doing your job means, oh, I'm not doing... The, the shit that I'm supposed to be responsible for. I'm sure for. you're doing it, but your job is to get here at five. End of story. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't care what you have to do. If it's unfair because I have to do less work, then fucking take it up with somebody. But that doesn't mean because you have to do more work that you get to show up late. I'm sorry. No, that's, it doesn't mean. True. Today was not. It was not an excuse. It was a late night. 
I it's got happens up late. all the time. There's been several times over the past three weeks where they've been like, hey, can we cut that up from yesterday's show? And I go in and fucking Pat Duffy is sitting where you are. The interns are beating you to work. Okay. That is the issue at hand. What is your defense to saying you are not punctual in the least? What doesn't get done? What doesn't get done that is needed there? It's... It doesn't... What? No. What doesn't get Fucking done that's needed there? show audio does not get pulled. Somebody else has to do it. Derek has to do it. Show audio that has to get pulled. Like daily news shit? No, like the fucking stuff from yesterday's show that we want on today's show. There's been several times when Ope's like, hey, we should replay that because it was funny. Mm -hmm. And you haven't been around. And then I have to wait till you're around for you to do your job. Okay. And first I'm hearing of that, but all right. Everything is always there when he needs it. When there's shit brought up, they're like, well, where is this? Maybe because you guys didn't tell me about it. That's fine. But as long as it, if you're here at five, we don't have to. It's not a race. It's not a crunch. It can actually get done in properly. And we don't have, it's not like a fucking race to get everything smashed in in the last minute. Well, I don't want to tell you. It all gets done. It's all here. Hi, Steve. Hi, Fan. I was just called in here. By who? Well, because you're kind of like I know here, everybody. Like you're the executive producer. <laughs> he never has an idea of what's happening. <laughs> no, I know. He always it's... walks in like like a five year old watching his like parents have like a big domestic blowout. Like, what do I do? No, this is this is exactly it. This is the, 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 that's the that's the preemptive. Am I getting yelled at, or am I supposed to yell at somebody? <laughs> clip. Uh, uh, move the. This has been brewing for a while. Fan does not like the fact that Eric comes in uh, comes in late. Eric does does stay a lot later and thinks that he's he should be uh, he should be given a little bit of a a little bit of lead, leeway in and terms he does of his thirty minutes every day leeway. He comes so, in like late a lot. No, I'm saying he comes in his his start time is five. Eric's Everyone start time is, is five. So today he showed up. He showed up thirty minutes beyond when he should have been here, and he shouldn't have done that. The leeway is built in. But going past, coming in past five is no so you, leeway. So, so Fan is mad at him because he showed up late today? And for the past couple of weeks, it's been... And uh, to be perfectly blunt, as soon as he's not being monitored is what the problem is. So as soon as... So I, I don't know. I haven't been keeping track of, uh, of Eric's coming. Neither have I. Right? So I don't really know. I, 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 don't have, I don't have logged you know, times. As, in fact, Ope has said that we, were not, we weren't supposed to monitor a lot of Eric's uh, behavior. So because Eric is staying late a lot. And, um, you know, he does do a lot of work after the show. Well, how much of that time is spent, you know, as you as you put it, dicking around, uh, you know, or what's your response to that, Iraq? Because he was, uh, was no, it, it's listen. bullshit, because when the show is done, everyone hangs around, goofs around for a while. And if they've got stuff to do, they'll do it a little later. They don't do it immediately right after the show. So if I'm on the computer looking at stuff. Danny's on the computer. I'm not throwing Danny under the bus. I'm just stating that, like, he looks at some stuff, his email or YouTube or whatever. Everyone does this shit, okay? Fan orders his lunch, sits around, eats his lunch, Ooh. and then I don't know what he does after that. Ooh. I'm not saying that, that he's doing anything wrong. I just I don't know what he does after that, but he's usually gone. <laughs> I'm usually the last one to leave. Unless I've got some other stuff that I really have to get done, I'm always the last to leave here. It doesn't mean, oh, Eric's taking forever or just goofing off or anything. There's a lot of shit that I do that is very time-consuming. And it takes a while to do this, to make sure it's cataloged, to make sure it's labeled right, make sure we have it available to somebody else. For instance, what, why you stay, what, last week, what were you working on that you had to stay late for? Uh, let's see. I had some War Stuff stuff. I had stuff open. What, what does it mean, some War Stuff stuff? When Butcher cuts up War Stuff, I go through the stuff that he cuts up. I make sure it's labeled, right, because a lot of the stuff isn't labeled correctly, so that we have it. He gave me some older uh, Opie and Anthony stuff that I've been going through. Yes, also we've been doing that during the show. I understand going through their old shows is very time-consuming. Mm -hmm. And tedious, then, just say it. <laughs> well, uh, time-consuming. All right, cool. We got to 11. Thanks, guys. Oh, uh, can I ask before we go? Before we go. I have 23 more seconds of anger if you want to. <laughs> just, just quick, because Travis is kind of just like the middle child back there. Hey, yeah. Jen Brady, do you uh, have anything Jen to contribute to this? Do you have any, like, you know, you see what goes on? 
Well, no, I don't think Eric's excuse of fan living closer so he can get in earlier really flies. Because I wake up at 2.45 to get here at 4.30. So. Yeah. Okay. And I come in earlier when I know that I have more work to do in the morning. Okay. But oh, oh, oh boy. A Eric, lot of Eric I live further from you and I come in at 4.30. You should be able to get in at 5 o'clock every day. If I it, like, if I miss the subway, if if I'm running five minutes late and I miss the subway, mm -hmm. I drive in because mm -hmm. I can't afford to be late, mm -hmm. so I get here even earlier. Mm -hmm. I, I'm saying, if all of us, when we first started at CBS, it was producers get in at four thirty, and gradually your time has gotten to five o'clock, and you still can't get there at five o'clock. If all of us can get here at four thirty, you should be able to get here at five. If we've made that concession for you. Um, just because Danny isn't here doesn't mean he can't fling a few barbs. Uh, this is from Danny. Um, that is well enough to be on yeah. Pal Talk. <laughs> like, exactly. Yeah. Li no, this is through a messenger. <laughs> like when he goes on Pal Talk and listens to Ron and Fez till three. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. That That's is a Danny one accusation that saying oh, sorry, that you're on Pal Talk. I don't Pal go Talk. on their show and call their show all the time. Listening. Ooh, I'm not a regular. Wait, so sorry. What, what, what are you saying? Because he was on the fucking thing last night. He's on the phone. No, he's last on night? there. He's on there all the time. Is he? goes in every now and then. Ron will see him walk by, and he goes in. I don't think deflecting what was said, though. It says that you, um, you're you on there, you know, till 3 o'clock listening to um, Ron and Fez. And then, uh, is this it? He, he pays Pat Duffy out of his own pocket to do work for him? That's not true. That has never happened? No. I don't well, pay him to do work for me. Well, when, we, no, I don't. It. No, because the kid works hard. He, he's got no. He doesn't have a pot to piss in. And every now and then, when I he's telling me something that he's going through a hard time, I think once or twice I've kicked him a couple a couple of bucks out of my own pocket. How much? I don't know. Maybe ten, twenty here or there. To do what? To do nothing. Okay. Uh, so Pat Duffy does nothing. <laughs> it's, it's good outsourcing. No, I don't. <laughs> good outsourcing. <laughs> Who's on the phone? Is this Danny? Yeah, Eric. Are you there? Hold on, he's going to get his he's headphones put his on. Headphones he on. didn't realize he was on the air the last half hour. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. This is our post-show meeting. Eric, when am I on Ron and Fez all the time? Ooh. I don't know. I've heard you every now and then. Ron goes, oh, there's Danny, blah, 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 blah. And then so I, I'm not Ron, paying attention on, to the show. Hang on. So because Ron mentions my name, that equates to me being on the air all the time? Yeah. I don't know. You're I'm in sometimes. I'm never on Ron and Fez, Eric. Okay. I'm never on Ron and Fez. Okay. And look, and not for nothing, but you know what? You do sit around in the office, and it just kind of seems like you're sitting there on the cam doing nothing for most of the time. Okay. I'm not saying that you don't work, Eric. I'm just saying that maybe you, you're here. Maybe the, maybe you're the last one at the office yeah. because you're just fucking hanging around, not doing much of anything. Ooh. I'd like to address a common misconception that's coming in off feedback. Uh, Shay from Connecticut. So the underlings are mad that boss comes in later than they do. Tough shit. And then the rest of your feedback is irrelevant. <laughs> because your first fact is incorrect. They're not upset that the boss comes in later. He's they not the boss. Oh, yeah, no. That's what I'm Steve's saying. Oh, Misinterpreted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying. I'm, dude, I'm not fucking. I'm not trying to shit on you, but you fucking. You know, you brought my name into it, so now I'm I here. wasn't shitting on you either. I used Why? you as an dude. example of how. Uh, no, I'm not yelling at you, dude. I'm, uh, I just brought you up as an example of what people do in the office after the show. It was okay. not shitting on you, and I stated that. Well, how about, why don't, why don't you bring up the fucking, you know, the, the actual work that gets done. If I'm waiting for a fucking, if, for some shit to mix down or whatever, yeah, I'm going to check my fucking email. Danny, okay? I wasn't throwing you, you, you under the on, bus. Ooh. Hang on, ooh. you sitting on the bleachers with fucking Happy Typing Girl for three hours, and then the next day going, oh, it was super late yesterday. Ooh. You know, that kind of fucking, it, it's dumb, it's stupid. That sounds like a throw That's an exaggeration, bus. too. Ooh. No, it's not. Yeah, right. it is. No, it isn't. Three hours sitting on the bleachers watching Ron and Fez doing oh, nothing mm -hmm. while I'm here? All right, it was two. I, I've, there, there's, there's been, I'm not saying that you do that every day, Eric, but there have been times All right, this I is another that. thing that, that keeps getting come up to. If I do then, anything... Then, then these arguments start, and you always, you're always the first one to be, oh, well, you know, I'm here later than any of you guys. It's, well, well, yeah, you are, but, you know, it's because of that. It's because you're just hanging out. And not, I'm not saying that's bad. I'm not saying that you're not allowed to hang out. That's fine. But don't, you know, don't pretend like you're fucking, you know, it's crunch time for you until 3, until 3 p.m. No, you think because I'm later, uh, I stay here later than everybody else. If you see me talking to somebody or if I'm doing something other than sitting at that desk in that office, oh, Eric does no work. But nobody I bothers know, to see what the that. fuck that I actually do around here. Mm. There's a video of you sleeping. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
That's not part wow. of your oh, there's, there's not footage of other people here sleeping. We're not too. talking about other people. Oh, Eric, I'm not people, directing that oh, at you. Oh, 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 wow. All right, Why did he you. turn that comment around real quick? <laughs> I'm not talking. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm Mr. Marshall. I wasn't talking about you, Mr. Marshall. Exactly. Who else has been sleeping? Oh, you mean Poe, okay. <laughs> and there's been other people. Who? Who? The intern, who? There's been interns or other show people. All right. So, who, who, what so other show what? people? Not on this show. So now well, on. what show? Not on this Someone show. Someone on the Love Sponge? <laughs> <laughs> and punt. Was he sleeping? <laughs> Wait, we all ran out of steam quick. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah. Come on, you rock, respond. You, you got some... Well, I already have. Like, okay. I don't know what else you want me to say here. Do you want somebody just to stand... Oh, I, and, and just see every little piece of work that I do on a daily basis? Uh, Bill... That's bullshit, because nobody Did... else gets treated like that. Bill, Bill K. from Philly. Hey, Ope, uh, wait a second. Danny didn't, did not even come in today because he was drunk last night. He should not be oh, talking. Jesus. Danny should be very quiet right now. <laughs> If that was the truth, it would hurt. <laughs> I, the, the, see, we got off the main issue here. Which is the what, main Foster issue. Brooks on the phone? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, our the main know. issue is the fact that Eric is habitually late. Regardless if you stay later. Like, I know that I've had certain jobs in the past where I had to be somewhere at a certain time. And if I was late, it didn't matter if I stayed later. The start time is a certain time, and you know for some reason you have an inability to to show up on time. And everyone's for supposed your job. to be there at four thirty, but somewhere along the line, Erock's time was moved to five, and he can't even do that. And right. now it's five thirty. It's well, gonna be you're gonna be working for the afternoon drive team. <laughs> and it's, I just I I just don't know how you know I you. Think, uh, I think as the boss, z Rock should maybe just fire somebody and bring in like someone that will be more compliant. I'm gonna yeah. to his a, needs. I'm gonna put a chart up on my MySpace page. <laughs> <laughs> it has some arrows and names. Well, there's a lot of confusion. Yeah, yes, you know, e has got the big gig and he's in charge of a lot of people around here. But uh, who are you in charge of, Iraq? <laughs> um, I think I Sam and Travis, and that's about it. That's the only ones I'm above. The same, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's pointing oh, at absolutely it. Absolutely not in charge of me. We are both producers. Yes, we are both in charge of Sam. Oh, then that's his fault because he's pointing Sam's at the you boss and him. of us. <laughs> and Sam is such a smart ass he's that you boss. can't even get. Wait, the one only one you're on in charge of is Sam. You half in charge. We're of all Sam? in charge of Sam, pretty much. <laughs> Sam's your Poor whipping Sam. boy. Poor Sam. Sam's just waving. <laughs> yeah, everyone else is on equal footing, I guess, huh? No. Yeah. No, 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 no. Sam's promotion. Okay, it's be you. Sweet. And then you're gonna get a sweet promotion. And Travis. So you're a producer. Danny's a producer. Travis a producer. Mm -hmm. And Than is. Uh, no, Danny and I have the same title, which is senior. Producer. Oh, senior oh, producer. Okay, senior producer. <laughs> drunk. No. <laughs> Shit. Danny producer. makes a good one. So wait, you I don't want to stir the pot, but uh, uh -oh. stir it up. Let's. Uh, in the early days of this whole XM thing, like, e -Rock got passed up for the big promotion because of some of the dumb things he does uh, off air. Mm, and there's wow. been tension ever since. Really? Like what? e -Rock? Like, he was supposed to be the guy. Like, he was supposed to be, I think, Than or Danny, right? Oh, boy. Not. I'm not saying these guys aren't great at what they do now, but that's in... Back in the day when all this like hierarchy chart was being formed, it was going to actually be like Steve and possibly E Rock right below. E Rock, and it hurts a little, doesn't it, E Rock? I don't give a shit. Well, the thing with oh, Eric is Jesus. this: he's he's uh he's extremely valuable to the show. Um, we we tolerate sometimes we all have imperfections. Eric happens to be have some of them, but he's very very valuable to the show because what he brings on the air. Um, which is uh, a lot of fat uh, jokes, but just the what? mistakes, and he's oh. just—he's like Steve. He's like a fucking thirty-dimensional guy. You can't not be interested in him. Thank you, Jim. You know, I mean, we all understand where Eric wants to put his penis at night. With you, we're not a hundred percent sure, but I'm, I'm saying that that's Iraq to me is very valuable. Eric, why? Why is it that you just can't make it in every day at the same time? Like I don't. Because you got to catch up on the, you know, raw from the night before. Ooh. 
You really hit you right there. There's really no yeah. reason you can't just say because I'm tired or uh Iraq, I would love to show up at quarter six oh. that would rule. It, it does believe would me. It be great. <laughs> oh, I it just has Jimmy. <laughs> you mean you're early, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if I walk in and I don't hear ecstasy, I'm like, oh, Dude, you're gonna be happy. When Jimmy <laughs> When Jimmy shows up at quarter six, we're all, all like, "Wow, he's early today." But I don't like the way I, I don't like to talk before the show. I kind of like to hang out, read yeah. the paper. Like I, I always want the conversation. Like whatever you guys are doing, you'll do during the first break, and that's cool. And if I chime in, I chime in. But I never want to know what's being said. Mm -hmm. It's just a thing with me. I don't like yeah. to, and I like to sleep later. Yes. <laughs> I wish I could. Is that it? You like to sleep a little later? I wish later. I could put in that those terms yeah. so I could uh, show up at Dude, five if, to if, six. Honestly, God, if I, could, if I could go to <laughs> bed, <laughs> yeah, but you gotta realize I can't go to bed. I I, I can't go to bed before one o'clock. I won't sleep. I mean, my, for, for for seventeen years, my clock has been wired one way. You're crazy. That's the only way I can do it. Mm -hmm. So um, why not uh, five o'clock? I Come really on. don't have a... Uh... I was even your biggest supporter because I'm like, all right, leave E-Rock alone. Stop keeping track of him. when he gets here. It was on the prep sheet every morning. And I said, enough, guys. You made your point. And then I had a, a private talk with E-Rock. I'm like, you know, the, you're you're giving these guys ammunition. So why don't you fucking just show up at 5 and he'll shut these guys up. And then... You showed up at five for maybe two days in a row, and then slowly but surely <laughs> went right back. To I, I thought you could say a late. week, two weeks, no, two days, a couple days, maybe a week. And I'm like, you know what? You're on your own. Let these guys beat the shit out of you because you do it to yourself. You give them way too much ammunition. Do you say uh, your alarm and everything, and mm -hmm. then you just shut it off? Mm -mm. What? Well, then what happens? No, I have uh, I have two alarms. Uh huh. Um, Take me through the morning. Okay, I have two <laughs> alarms. I have an electronic alarm, and yeah. I have uh, a wind up. A annoying alarm mm -hmm. thing that's on a dresser away from the bed. I'll get up, I'll turn the alarm off, and sometimes it, it, you're just you're just kind of sitting there where it's like it's really difficult to just. Well, get yeah, fired. I know. I know. It's, it's called getting up for work. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. You, no one likes to do it. I'm but not, you're wait, up at that point. You're standing. Wait, wait, but it's difficult. What's more difficult, that or eating a salad? <laughs> That's <laughs> not even right. I eat salads. Well, now, Iraq, do you have any? Because the guys are all kind of giving you the business here. Mm -hmm. The business. Hey, you, you, you respond to them. I mean, do you have a response? You can't just sit and take it. You got to respond with and defend yourself like you have been. I get defensive when it comes to people thinking they know what I do or know what I don't do as far as this job is concerned. Well, Danny and, was saying basically, and Danny, if I could paraphrase, that you were basically parked on your fanny. Talking with Happy Typing Girl, who's just a babbler, as we all know, uh, for three hours. How often is she here? Uh, you're yelling at me. I don't know. Tell oh, me. Uh, Eric, I, I, didn't, I didn't say that it happens every day. I don't, and, and in Eric's defense, I'm sure that, you know, I, I pay more attention to the times where he's just kind of loafing around than I do the times where he's actually, you know, getting something done, let's say. Ooh. So, of course, I'm going to pay more attention to when he's just on Pal Talk, but it just seems like there's more of those times than, you know, other times when, and, you know, I don't know what you do at home, so I, you know, I can't, I'm not around for that, but from what I notice, sometimes at the office, that's, you know, I call him like I see him, and that's, that's what I see a lot of times. Okay, I see him online going through shit videos and different type of uh, tattoos and all that other stuff. Exactly. I never complain about any of that. He's he, no, he's, he's found some very good stuff going through videos. I mean, some of the most, most classic uh, sound clips have come from, you know, shit videos. Shit videos, yeah. And other but, things. But, but, but and actually, chocolate rain. I don't think he appreciates, like, looking at shit you know. videos. I think no, he's doing well, it for Some sure. people do. <laughs> no, that's not like that, I wouldn't give him that much credit. <laughs> <laughs> shit video. A good shit video can be pretty entertaining. But it can be. <laughs> but, but, Eric, if I, am, if I am, you know, fucking around and not doing much of anything, it's because my, you know, my work for the day is, is pretty much done. Like, the replay's done. Everything's taken care of. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, that's my time to, you know, do whatever the fuck I feel like doing until I get out of there. But I don't pretend the next day that, oh, I spent all, I was, oh, I was working my balls off yesterday until 2 o'clock. You know, I don't, I don't say that, And whereas I believe that you do. Time management. You rock. A little time management. Like, like yeah. is there anything that you think the other guys should be doing? Because you obviously do a lot of archiving and stuff. Mm -hmm. Get up off the deck, kid. What are you doing? You're laying there like you're a beaten man. No, it's just, when I, the stuff that you're I screaming. do... <laughs> Nobody really. You obviously feel like you're the backbone of the show, so you know. Let's get some constructive. Like, stuff like to Travis, uh -huh. wherever I don't know where she went, but he's around somewhere. 
What do you think Travis could be doing to help you out a little bit? Why don't you fucking speak Travis, up? I've already taken up. enough of Eric's responsibilities. I don't need any more. Ooh. Oh. What's that what mean? Is, what are you giving me shit for? Ooh, I'm not giving I'm you anything. Let him know. Sam and I had to take over your responsibilities don't on some things. Don't bring me into this. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, <laughs> you're the biggest oh. douche I've ever seen. Wait, hold on. What do you mean, Travis? What do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. It was also... No, they gave them... Um, they do Worst of the Week for the weekend. He does half the sh one half of the show. He does the other half of the show. Sam. Um... They were all, they were given that. I had a lot of other shit to do, and they were also given that because it was also brought to somebody at XM's attention that they really weren't um, properly trained as far as the let goes, the so, system that we okay. use. Okay, yeah. so basically you're saying that they you took your responsibility, but you're basically saying that they kind of weren't kind of good at what that. No, that, I'm not. Delet. No, they were not doing anything wrong. They were just, we were told that they needed to be brought up to speed as far as delight goes, and that was one of the things that was given to them. I'm sorry, Eric, I was told something differently, so. Uh, by the way, Booby Man from Brooklyn writes, shouldn't Danny be shitting or drinking right now? He <laughs> 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 says I'm not. I, I will never disagree. Eric does a lot of work for the show. I don't think anyone is saying differently. He just has terrible time management. Which bothers mm -hmm. everybody, Rock, because we're all tired. We all want to sleep in. Every day. God damn, do I want Every to sleep Every fucking day. Yeah. And no one gives a shit about all the stuff you are doing for the show because they get frustrated that you're not there in time. You know? Does it make it harder, Than? Like, like, is there stuff that that the show might... And I don't know this because I'm obviously not here. I'm here after all you guys. Mm. So is there anything that the show might need that would be easier if our own young Eric was here on time to, to organize? Because you said before about a race. Uh, well, yes, for instance, today, Ope wanted clips of him making his Patriots predictions. For well, because I knew we were going to talk about the sports curse. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, Opie might tell me this at 5, 5.15, and then I go in and ask Eric, can you have this cut up? And Being so, his boss and all. Well, <laughs> I, <laughs> That's I mean... Okay. The chart doesn't lie. All right, something bothers me. All right, you. Here, here, here's what you don't know. Oh. oh. I've had, I had already talked with Steve, who had informed me that these needed to be done. I said they will be taken care of, and they were done when you came in. Yeah, you talked to him on the phone at 5.30 because you weren't in the office. <laughs> oh, that is true. Oops. Oops, wasn't your responsibility. Yes, it is, because <laughs> what fucking Opie will be like, oh, didn't I tell you to get that ready? And it was, it was it gets... cut and ready to go. Everything was set. <laughs> okay, I apologize for not celebrating your cramming abilities, Eric. <laughs> That's my bad. But if, what if there was another thing? You got this thing done at the right time, but there's sometimes more than one thing. Because there's lots of things on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and to say you made it by a nose is not impressive. It's, mm -hmm. not, it's not helping you. I have nothing against you personally. You are a nice gentleman. I, it's the stuff that affects us and the rest of the show that is my only problem with you. Are you crying? And punt. No. <laughs> um, so the guys behind the scenes, I thought you guys were like a well-oiled machine. You all got along. Like, who doesn't like who? I don't like Fan at all. He was punt. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I'm just asking. Who doesn't like who? I, I thought you guys all got along, and I actually I assume that you all piled up on Iraq. But are there is there other tension between the guys? Iraq, you would see it. Iraq, who who doesn't like who? I don't know. Th this I thought we had cleared a lot of this shit up. Apparently, we did, and then had. you heaped more shit in there. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Don't just dismiss I'm my fucking. I'm not dismissing it. Are you habitually late? Habitually, no, a lot. No, but it, it happens more than everyone else. <laughs> that, was the, that was the best case of realize what he was about to say. <laughs> you're ever going to see. <laughs> so, wait, Than thinks you were dismissing his point. I think this all goes back to the thank you, uh, the Daily News Lottery uh, thing. Thank you, uh, Bill K from Philly. No, that I could care less about. <laughs> well, you're rich. We all know. Well, that. yes, because <laughs> I live in Manhattan. So, yeah, who else doesn't like What's going on here, Eric? Come on. You, it's you're not my... Man. Just say it's it. not it's my position to be throwing other we're people under the bus. To. Yes, it is. You're not throwing them under the bus. They fucking they painted fucking yellow stripes on you, so buses would use you as a speed bump. <laughs> Long way to go. So uh, why don't you just uh, tell the truth? No, 
Lately, I haven't heard anything towards me. I've heard towards other people. Who? Danny on the phone there. I've heard oh, other people what? having problems with Danny. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> and I've stayed out of everything. Is <laughs> after we go home? <laughs> Who? I'm not doing this. <laughs> well, you can't say that and then yeah. not say no, who. If they have a problem with, with him, they can feel free to step up and, and, and voice their opinion Is on it. it I'll, I'll say a name and just say yes or no. Is it Steve? That's one of them. Okay. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's more? Oh what was the problem? Steve the, had... the Steve and Danny thing is, is well known as well far documented. as the show goes. <laughs> yeah. Very well. No, if there's, yes. there's other people who have other problems on this staff, it, it's there. Let them come up and say it. it's not for me to throw them under the bus. You, you have a problem with Danny? No, I, I haven't really interacted with Danny much. Yeah. In the Why last is that? few What's months. What's wrong with that? Mm, What's nothing? up with that? There. There's really just no. No camaraderie. Not much. No. Common ground as far as the show is concerned. Eric and my responsibilities fall on opposite ends of the spectrum, so there's really not a, a lot of need to interact uh, during the day. Well, what was you say? Other people have problems. What was their <laughs> problems relating to? You don't have to say who. Uh, th there's various issues. Um, Stop languishing in vagaries and fucking no, say I'm... something of substance. So no. they all write down something blindly and I'll just read it out. Ah, there you go. <laughs> That's the way. A <laughs> blind write, vote. You guys want to write stuff down blindly and I'll just read them? Are we up for that, or is that's, that, that's or good. Is that too destructive? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just... <laughs> oh yeah. god, because it'll definitely stay blind, and you won't spend the rest of the show getting to the bottom of who is saying what about yeah, who. Thank you. <laughs> just say. Oh, how about, just how have about us if write we... down who we don't like and it's, why? It's nail on the head, fan. <laughs> how about if we promise just to read blindly? Some of the issues, and then we'll leave. Just the blind, blind, we'll just read them and leave. <laughs> and then it'll just fester behind the scenes. We'll read and them and leave. <laughs> and then let you guys mop this whole mess up. Yeah, exactly. All right, so... So everybody... Uh, so I guess everyone's okay now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not convinced with Iraq's eyes. Iraq? I'm fine. You're misunderstood, aren't you? Mmm... I think you have a time management problem myself, if you want to get into it. I think you're very valuable to the show, but I think you waste way too many hours on dumb stuff. Like, we have a guy that said you called him in the middle of the night just to make sure Jim Norton had his, like, he had tickets for the New Year's Eve show or something. No, they were all called at 6 p.m. This guy <laughs> says it was the middle of the night. Yeah, good for him. Oh! <laughs> Maybe it was 6 p.m. here, but it was well, midnight in London. Well, maybe if the promoter London. had done his job, and instead of me having to call and tell everybody, because since the promoter... Well, why would you have them, to do that? The promoter, that would have been Kenny. Because I was responsible well, for getting all their names in the first place, and when the promoter didn't call <laughs> them, why said, was that your responsibility? That's what I'm saying. I think you take on a lot of, like, stuff you don't have to take on. Away. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was so, on both sides. Well, well, we collected the names here, I think. And was the promoter supposed to call them, and he didn't? And he never called them. Oh, okay. So I sure. called everybody to make sure. Thank yeah. you. If they got their information, they didn't. We were on vacation, too. So what the fuck does that even matter? It's a good point. Tell these guys what you told me privately. Go ahead, Iraq. I don't know what that was. Go ahead. Go ahead, Iraq. That private conversation Coming. we have. Just bring it up. No. Let's, let's get out in the open. Come on, get out in the open. What are you doing, Iraq? You know that time we talked. It's, it's cancer if you don't fucking get stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> it clogs the arteries. Yeah, the mayonnaise isn't doing that. Stop it with the witnesses. Stop with the, uh, you Just know. be serious and no, I'm, I'm done. answer. What's the private conversation? Yeah. There is no private conversation. I don't think Ope would lie. It's not his nature. No, no I would Then he recalls it differently because I don't remember a private conversation. Well, Ope does. You know, the boss recalls, you recall. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that's not being made up to kill more time. It's 11. We don't need to kill time. What it's time. this time-wasting bag of shit. Is that what you're calling the boss? I don't like it. No. I When I first started here... All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. <Ben>? <laughs> <laughs> I could tell Hope was fishing around. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was Eric's subordinate. What? That's... What the fuck <laughs> was that about? That was what I call the past. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> uh, and I would, Eric would show me how to do things because he had more re responsibilities when, than I, you know, I was an intern when I started, and Eric would show me things. 
maybe things have changed, but his general M.O. was be, to be like, okay, we're going to do this later. And then I'd stop by and he'd be on AIM, uh, you know, or he'd be, look, you know, on Pal Talk or something. Like, I have seen bad time management on your part, Eric. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, Blue Healer from Kentucky, he writes, Danny hasn't flushed once during this entire invention. <laughs> Fuck you, I just shit on the phone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys didn't even hear it. I was waiting for big laughs, and no one even mentioned it. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, what are you, pouring fucking soup into the toilet bowl, that old gag? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> linger longer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or maybe tear down a wall that I didn't want to. All right. Anyway, go ahead, Dan. So no, that's it. I mean, so, it's just, I, I. So there's tension there because E Rock was uh, technically your boss when you first started, and now you're his boss. That's got to be very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, E Rock. I'm cool with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> For Eric. <laughs> Well, yeah. What do you think Eric could be doing more to help you? I was you? pissed over. Yeah, it's the way everybody wanted it. So who do you think? <laughs> I don't be... need more help. I'm Ooh. good. It was a sad day when E Rock was passed over because it was his gig to lose, and he, oh. he certainly, oh, you know, it's kind of like the Tom Brady thing. Like Tom Brady wasn't supposed to lose that Super Bowl. No, but it happened, no. So... And How E Rock you... was passed up, and it was. I was. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was kind of sad, but there was. We had no uh, choice in the matter because he fucked up. Too many times. What happened, E Rock? I don't even know this. I don't want to get into it. Well, can you tell me briefly? Because I don't know this stuff. No. You got to tell me. I don't know. Oh, and no. I think uh, E Rock's bummed to this day that he blew a big opportunity. Are you bummed? It's, an, it's enough to make someone want to kill themselves. I understand that. <laughs> oh, my God. I wouldn't go that far. But what happened? You got you to tell us now. It's out in the open. No. Why? Right. Because it's not. That's not a secret. It's a work, it's a work issue. I wasn't allowed to talk about it. Why? Because that's what I had to sign. You had to sign something? <laughs> you had to sign an that. NDA? <laughs> he had, had to sign something? We were taught... Uh, I'm not going into... No, I'm not going into Come it. Come on, E-Rock. Because I didn't have to sign anything. You don't have to go all the way into it. Just briefly so we have an idea. No. But... You no. Have, it's already no, I don't open. have to. We already... We disclose all kinds of stuff on the show. Is it incriminating? Mm. No, it's not incriminating, but it, it got... I don't know. Somebody got upset about something. That happened. Steve. So, mm. who Steve? got upset? Yeah. It, it was you that got upset, right? No, uh -huh. it wasn't Steve. I think I know what Eric's talking about, and if if it is if it is what he's talking about, then yeah, there's a piece of paper he signed that, well, that dictates he can't it, talk about right, it. But you can, Steve. Was it I Logan? can't, actually. I can't. I, you was, signed the paper? I. It was just this whole... It was... I, see, now like, I hate talking in, the, in, the, in these vagaries, because at just one point it. something happened to Eric, uh, which sort of uh, is is related to his being passed over mm -hmm. that he can't talk about. What happened to Eric? Somebody mean to him? I mean, what? No, no, no. It's not. It, no, not somebody mean to him, but something happened. People are uh, suggesting he, uh, he got raped in the bathroom. Is that it? Sexual oh. harassment? Oh, e rock What no. happened to you that was bad? I know it had something to do with sexual harassment, but who was it with? No, who wasn't? Oh. It had nothing to do with that. No? No. No. Oh, we just don't want to talk about that? No. Yeah. I don't know. What? No. <laughs> I'm just shaking my head. <laughs> I only care what Eric does when it affects the rest of the show. Mm -hmm. If he can stay here till four every day. So, he, how are we going to solve this? Should we just fire somebody? Get it over with? Yeah. E-Rock, so how are we going to solve this? You're going to try to get in at five and humor us or yes. no? I could get, like, maybe another alarm clock or something. I don't know. Call me crazy, but I don't think you should be here later than the stars of the show. Uh, it's <laughs> like when Letterman goes to work, you know, I don't think his producers show up after Letterman gets to work, if you know what I mean. There's a valid point <laughs> in mean... saying that the men on the bus fucking ads should... I understand when, when people are late because things happen here and there, but when you're continually <laughs> coming in after the... The guys that the show's named after, it could cause problems um, inside the organization oh, yes. with a lot of people. Stan? I have a solution. Oh, boy. No. This would actually be uh, positive. Yes. There was a time. <laughs> this is not going to have Ray's and Eric in the same <laughs> sentence. There was a time when we did closely monitor when you came in. And you did, for a time, when you were getting in trouble for it, a fair job of coming in on time why don't you do what you were doing then all the time 
I bet you if we put a little like bucket uh, in the office and every time you're late, you have to throw a little money in the bucket, you're not going to be late anymore. That's right. Nickel. You... <laughs> bucket full of nickels. Then we'll see. Or we take your, uh, you know, your calories, and for every minute you're late, we take calories away from you. Mm. That wouldn't make you happy, now would it? Yeah, but he could. Just just make up for it later. Were you sad yeah. when when Thank got the position? You didn't, honestly. Um, honestly, no. Oh, really? No. Why? Because you, you just want to be known as mediocre your whole career. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Holy Why would, shit. No, I'm not even, like, people like, oh, wow, shocking line by O, but that's bullshit. Everyone out there, no matter what you fucking do, when someone passes you up, you're fucking pissed off. And you're not pissed off? You, you, what you Let a Congo no, I line, I let a Congo line around here pass you up. Dun, 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 <laughs> dun. Next thing you know, Pat Duffy will pass you up. You won't be pissed off at that or, or Sam or any of these other guys. That's bullshit, dude. I'd be fucking furious. I wasn't... All right. And I know you're pissed off, so why don't you be honest about it? I wasn't pissed at him. Okay, but you were pissed oh. off. Who were you pissed at? Oh, you boy, feel? here it comes. Who were you pissed at? Was I pissed at the situation? Yes. Was I pissed at myself? Yes, even more so. Mm. But that was it. I was never pissed at him. And what did you do I wrong? think a lot of people know that I'm Iraq's biggest supporter. I, I was like, what a dope. No offense, but what a dope. You let these guys pass you by now. I mean, they're they've they've shown their worth around here, obviously. But at the time, it was your gig. It was your fucking gig. And by the way, everyone's agreeing with me. When you're passed up for a promotion, you're fucking pissed. I don't care what what career you're in. Yeah. No, I was pissed. I was not pissed at him. Who were you mad at? I was mad. I was mad at the situation. I was mad at myself. Don Wickland, probably. Yeah. Were you mm -hmm. mad at Wiki? Maybe Wiki. Uh, yeah, oh, come on. It would be a flat out no if it was a no, right? Do you think Wickland does a good job? Were you mad at Don and his fucking his blue eyes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, does he? <laughs> dreamy. <laughs> Jesus. Are you You're dreamy. At, like Sinatra mixed in with fucking. Were you mad at Don and his acting like a tough guy routine that he does? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, got a few looks for that one, didn't yes. I know? Sinatra mixed in with Norman Bates. <laughs> right. So how are we going to settle this? Who are you mad at? Let's all go out for some drinks. Yeah. <laughs> there shits. we go. Wow. Well, of course Danny would suggest that. How about I... a bare-bottom spanking? What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like the money jar idea. That would probably work. Hey, Rock, don't you want to... Uh, why wouldn't you want to be here at five? That means you'd have to probably maybe go to bed slightly earlier. <laughs> do a little time management action so you don't, like, waste your time on, like, tasks that some maybe some other guys could do. We have fucking 20 guys that work behind the scenes. I know, and I get criticized for that, too. So pretty much anything I do What What do you get open. criticized at? All right. Um, a lot of the times the interns are, sit are sitting around. If they're not doing food runs, they're in, if they're not printing out feedback, a lot of them are just sitting around doing nothing. So a few of them I, who had audio editing experience, I have them do some archiving. They compile a bunch of stuff that we have stacked together into one disc, and then we put all that together. Mm -hmm. Pat does mm -hmm. that on a regular basis because he's trustable. Matt has started to do it a little bit, but because if I have the interns doing anything, automatically somebody jumps up, well, why are they doing this? What are they doing? Because it was me who asked them to do something. And I don't think anybody has a problem with that if, as long as it doesn't interfere with their other duties. And it doesn't. That's actually sm that's good delegation. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Does Iraq e communicate with like some of these thoughts that he has? I do with Steve a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of times there's stuff going on. I say, look, Steve, I need somebody to do this while I'm doing something else, or I need somebody to help me with this, or can Derek make something to add to uh, to a worst of or whatnot? I'm always doing that. Iraq, e is it true you blame Steve for your situation? Steve, no. Who do you blame? Oh. Mm, okay, nice try. Who well, yeah. we blamed you? Yeah, no, a little bit. I don't blame Steve. But you kind of do, right? There's got to be not so much blame, but resentment. A little bit of resentment sure. that they kind of went up the ladder and you didn't. I would, I would have some resentment there for certain people. Okay, sure. but how long is that supposed to last? It could last a lifetime. Yeah. Can I get you a, know, can I get what a resentment's song? resentment's all about. Can I get a song? What do you think, you rock? I, I need a song. 
Can I get a song? Coke Logic uh, suggested a fine song. Uh, if we play Tranquilizer, I think it's called by White Stripes featuring uh, oh, yeah, featuring uh, Lou Reed, I believe. I want to end with that song today. Do you know the song? Killers. Is it The Killers? That's the Killers with Lou Reed. Yeah. Oh man, I'm. You like it, right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. We're gonna turn you out to a new song tonight, or today, tonight. All Jesus right, I guess Christ. we're going, right? Well, I want to play a little "Everybody Hurts" because Coke Logic oh. suggested it. <laughs> so, uh, Steve, what's your thing? Oh, you have headphones on. You got a phone call. Steve, we're uh, Aunt and I and Jimmy. We're gonna like you know hit the road. You clean up this mess. All right. Good luck to you. Before we go, yeah, though, thanks. Can we ask you, Rock? <laughs> appreciate it. Can we ask you, Rock? I, I now I wonder why nobody likes me. Because I love Eric. <laughs> You like teasing them. Iraq, you, like, what would you like to do to remedy this situation? What do you What do you feel you're misunderstood with? Like, the guys give you a hard time a lot of times. You're very underrated. What do you think you're being underrated with? You feel like the loner in this organization, don't you? Oh, you not right? necessarily. Do you have friends? Who's your ally in this whole whole uh, room? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Travis, but Sam, Steve... Wow, you guys actually get along? I thought you guys hated each other. No. No, Eric and I get along very well. I don't think anyone dislikes Eric as a person. And nobody is saying that he do. doesn't do a lot of work <laughs> around here. Maybe. Oh, I can't hear Danny. Danny says I do. Okay. Danny says I do, but, but he's, uh, he's also very funny. Right, somebody asked right now, he, so. no, he, he was being proposed to by a liquor bottle. Right. <laughs> 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 Bonus show line of the day. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna go with uh ah, forget it. <laughs> I had a waitress line. Anybody else want another? <laughs> so uh, that's funny. Sorry. Sorry. I know, but I just <laughs> fucked it all up. Uh, anyway, so you get along with E Rock. Yeah, I get along with Eric, sure. And he just has people awful don't time he, management. He you really do, E Rock. That's like the theme right now. How do you feel that did Than treats you like, like you know, your relationship with him is a bit tumultuous? Can you turn up everybody hurts? Yeah, this is getting emotional. I'd like to hear your your take on that, Iraq. Right. I don't have a problem with Than personally. Okay. I really don't. All right, um, how about this? We go around the room. I know what we're getting at. Uh, from one to ten. Everybody yes, everybody hurts, of course. From one to ten, uh, like grade everybody on if you have a a problem with them. Okay, that's fair. One being the you really have a fucking. You want to fucking punch this person in the face? No, ten is punching. Yeah, face. ten is right, punching in the face. Zero ten. is nothing. Zero is like you get along and, you know, you would only almost marry the dude. Yeah, start. Let's go. All right, start with Steve. From that's, zero. That's a little, hold on, that's a little hard because no, it's not. that time period has come and gone. Okay, well, let's. Speak All right, in let's go terms. back a little bit in general terms. Uh, zero to ten. Uh, how would you rate Steve? Uh, ten meaning you want to punch him in the face. Come on, Steve's a zero. Oh. So you, you want to have sex with him? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so thanks. Good well, to know said. that your boss is a non-issue. That's wonderful. How about Sam? Sam. Sam ranges from a three to five depending on the day and the situation. Mm. Fuck. Right. Congrats, Sam. Travis. Travis is a zero because I'm afraid. I said he's zero gonna is hurt. like you want to have sex with a guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're <No>. in, dude. <laughs> Come on, it's, stop being diplomatic. All right, zero, I'm not zero. being diplomatic, but the time this, period right, where no, that... No, no, this is good, because he, he gave Sam a three to five, and these guys zero, so, Than. Uh, Than ranges in the three to five, but not for the same reason that Sam ranges in the three to five. I do. I can't believe Sam oh, and I are bullshit, the same level. Sam. I never do anything. All right. You, you, as soon as they rag at something, you come in. I don't know why they're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, who gave the money? Oh, I don't God know what this is all about. Thing. I just oh, came in full of it. and saw my friend Than yelling at my friend Eric. Oh, right. And I like wanted the, to like the out. night we went to that wrestling thing, and you, yeah. you told them about, oh, Eric was, because I was in pain from the surgery, that I couldn't eat anything. That's what I told All them. Right. Yeah. And they made a joke okay. out of okay. it. Okay, then, one, you told them. <laughs> yeah. Two, then you came over and you said, look, I got you your back. I don't know why they're nice. doing this to you. I told, you tried I told to them. ease the pain after pouring salt in a wound. No, I told them that you were in pain and that it was actually kind of hard yeah, for but me. Sam, when you come and over and you give the lovey eyes, you go, I don't know why they're doing this to you. And you put, like, the hand hand on the shoulder, yeah. like you're reaching out. Yeah. Iraq, just in case, bullshit. What? Iraq, just in case you're wondering, too, Sam did come to us with a smile on his face and couldn't wait to give us the Of info. course he did. Uh, not I mean, true. We got to keep it fair here. here. We got to keep it liar. fair. All right. <laughs> so, Than's, so what's the difference between uh, Than and Sam's three to five? Um, 
no, Sam's three to five is just he's being a smart ass and he's trying to lie to you. It, it's tact. It, he's trying to make you feel good, even though he, he's totally fucking you at, at at that point. I just want you to feel good, right? So that's Than, uh, Sam's issue. Than, you're saying he plays both sides, kind of like oh, he, he's very good at. He it. plays his blackness against his whiteness. Yes, to the point, <laughs> to the to the to, to the, the, the point, punch what? Yeah, to the point where. You just want to punch him. There's many times Steve wants to just grab him by the face and throw him. Keep it on Why? Wh which one, Sam? Sam. Yeah, sure. Sam's a little shit stir every once in a while. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. And now we get to... And why is Than different? Oh, admit it. Than, than is, <laughs> is a little different because whether and whether it's work or not work, sometimes he, he just... He'll come up to you and say something or just give off an impression like... He, 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 he resents or... He feels slighted or something, and sometimes I don't get it. Slighted? I'm fucking king shit around here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. And finally, Danny. All right, this is where I, I, I say... <laughs> this is the real issue. <laughs> this is where I say that um, the point, that time period of where we get this it. would be is oh. long past. Because oh. Danny and I have settled a lot of this stuff. There were a lot of times I just wanted to just cave Danny's head in. And, or, or there were times I'm sure that he, he wanted to do the same to me. Hmm. Danny, you can't ask Danny a question without him just turning and yelling in your face. And it's not even English. He's just making gibberish or noises. <laughs> or, what the fuck? He's <laughs> describing a mongoloid. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Or, uh, if or an alcoholic. If, like, if you ask him for something... <laughs> so wait, you try Sorry, to get Danny, point he yell at you. No. Well, it's not even yelling. He just would scream at, and make weird sounds at you <laughs> while you're trying to add... It's like, look, Oak <laughs> needs to know where monkey. this is. A monkey. It's like <laughs> a, a, a monkey. What are you talking about? Am, am I wrong <laughs> at this? What sounds? Oh, you like? Sam. Oh, see, you're shaking your head yes oh, and then going boy. no. What right. you, what's, you got Sam as an ally, ally on this one? What sounds? No, Danny. Some Danny used to give off an attitude anytime. Wait, you know what? You'd I know how to something. handle this, Sam. I mean, imitate Danny. Where are you? I'm just saying, maybe. <laughs> so that's Danny's reaction to where is something. <laughs> well, it depends who's asking him too. Yeah. Sometimes Iraq's questions are met with more short-tempered answers. Yeah. Yeah. Which it's not even English answering you. <laughs> He'll sit there and just go <laughs> like that, and you're like, "What the fuck just happened?" I gotta say, the, the chemistry is a little weird here. I think we need a like a blockbuster trade. Really? I say we go blockbuster trade with Ron Fess. Hmm. Blockbuster trade. Well, who would we have to trade off to everyone alleviate? for Lily? <laughs> That's what we got to figure out. Blockbuster trade time. It's well, it seems that the, <laughs> it seems like the common denominator in the friction. Is E Rock. Like if you get rid of E Rock, you pretty much solve the the problem amongst everybody else because it's all But that's uh, what the Knicks are saying about Stefan Marbury, but yeah. then they're thinking he's like the franchise. Uh, you know, E Rock likes to think of himself as like the uh, LeBron James of the Opie and Anthony show. So mm. think like a So you're thinking maybe e -Rock. East Side Dave? Well, I don't Iraq. know. I don't know. Like, blockbuster trades, you gotta sit down and think it over and, and see what mm -hmm. makes sense. See, I think if you lose E-Rock, then you'd have to divvy up his responsibilities. And that includes all the stuff that he's doing after the show. See, I've, uh, I've let it be known that I really want Bronx Johnny. So I think it's uh, time to, like, figure out a trade. Bronx Johnny, maybe. Yeah, he's, oh, yeah. he's really good. Oh, yeah, I want Bronx Johnny. Plus, I would be depressed if Eric was gone. Shut up. Why? Well, he's, <laughs> he's just lying. Maybe we have to split up the Than and Sam thing. Yeah, well, you had a good run, Sam. <laughs> you know, Shaq and fucking Kobe Bryant had to split up eventually, right? Sure. So. All right, blockbuster trade time with Ron and Fez. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Maybe we just try it for a couple weeks. Why are you looking at me, oh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Danny's what? Danny Ten. used to be a 10. Wow. Wow. What is he like right now? Is he around a three three to he five like seven. the other two or a little higher still? He might be actually a little lower. He might be, I'd, I'd say a three. Because yeah, Danny, does, Danny doesn't do it that often anymore. Yeah. Like he actually will address 
somebody speaking to him now. <laughs> like, I, I, I like Sam's really impression. What you were talking about, but, but I, really I think I think uh, Ron and Fez need to come in early at eleven, and we have an Afro sit down. Yeah, and discuss a blockbuster trade. We put all their people on one side, all of our people on one side, and we can kind of trade. Well, it, it's got to be they can't listen to that hour of radio. Well, no. This is like closed door meetings. This is like you know the winter meetings. Mm -hmm. Okay. We need to do the winter meetings with other GMs. I'm sure he'd like Sam. Huh? I'm sure Ron would like Sam. Why? Why is that? Ron has Sam on a lot. All right. Well, we'd like Ron's Ron's Johnny. Johnny. Sam. I'll, I'll make that trade tomorrow. Oh, sorry, Sam. I thought you left the room. <laughs> How about this? How about this? Mark Johnny only comes in once a week. See, I can't trade Sam because my fiance loves his girl. That would that would create all How sorts of tensions. They could still be friends. How does this work? Yeah. We'll give you oh, Steve yeah. and Anthony for Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Just destroy the whole show. Oh, boy, that music, huh? Wow. Oh, wait, can I play my song? No. No, tomorrow. Why? Because it must less here. than two minutes. Yeah. The computer's we gotta coming. Go. Oh, my God, look at this. I time. can't play my song? I want to be no, asleep really by 11 like, We did this for 45 minutes. <laughs> Just babbling. <laughs> we're trying to get out of here early, so now tomorrow, obviously, yeah. we're, we're out of here. We're 10, out by 8 20. Car crash uh -huh. comedy tomorrow. Ah, uh, fuck that. <laughs> Reschedule. <laughs> All right, line of the day was brought to you by SkiColoradoNow.com. Here's a runner up. We did it already. What? We're all <laughs> we did it already. Oh, we already did it. Bonus time line of the Daddy day. Daddy has to tinkle. We should have done bonus time line of the day. New bit. That's right. Oh, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Iraq, e I want you here by 7.30 a.m. to fucking... All right, wait. All right, so we show. got nothing. <laughs> we got My nothing accomplished. Laugh. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Hopefully Danny on the phones are just left. Nah, he <laughs> All right, Danny. Bye. Okay. We'll okay. see you tomorrow, Danny. Hopefully. Yep. You sure. get to, uh, the alcoholism <laughs> under control. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Right now he's trying to find a mouse to feed to his fucking pet tequila worm. <laughs> <laughs> They want, Puddle of Age wants, he's like, Opie, don't be a ball licker, trade for Lily. All right, so who do we give out, who do we give away for Lily? I don't know. Who don't we give away? How about this? Exactly. We'll give you five <laughs> players to be named later for Lily. We'll just have her running around like, like a mad woman. She'll be the only one that <laughs> works behind the scenes. Exactly. <laughs> and all we'll tell her to do is just sit there in a mini skirt and giggle. <laughs> I but I want to work. We know. We know. I'm, I got some interest in Lily. I got some interest in uh, Bronx Johnny. Bronx Johnny's cool. Um, how about if we can't have Lily? Can we just have one of her scarves that smells like her? <laughs> and we'll give you Travis, Sam, Erock, and Fan from eight thirty on. Um, and Fez, I have by a the funny way. joke. Um. <laughs>